in the southern part of Africa is an amateur radio station that could never fail to be heard for over 20 years, neither in Europe nor in North America. We arrived in Windhoek to visit Martin Walter and his wife Ursi on their farm near Omaruru. With some detours we are heading north. Martin, with the 5-1 Mike Whiskey, is constantly improving his station and his antenna farm. For the inspection of its wire antennas, Martin uses a quad. To walk would be impossible, as they are located far from the actual shack, supplied by several hundred meters of symmetrical feeder lines. As he says, he has already tried all imaginable antennas, but his rhombic antennas are the ultimate. Meanwhile, he owns several of these huge wire antennas. Two of them with 160 meters and a third one with 80 meters side length. Depending on the band, these rhombics have a gain of over 10 dB and in their favorite direction, they outperform his rotary beam antennas. On the receiving side, Victor 55 Victor uses beverage antennas, which, unfortunately, were already partially dismantled on our arrival. Therefore, we spent the first two days with the reconstruction of the reception antennas, which were sometimes 500 meters okay. long. That's the balloon for the beverage. Good way to end it. Ursi takes care of the farm in general, the farm animals, the goats and the cattle breeding. The first route every morning takes her to the animals. Despite all this, Ursi still finds the time to show visitors the farm and wildlife areas. For over 20 years, Victor 55 Victor was the ideal place for numerous the expeditioners and contest teams. From here, 8,000 kilometers away from Europe, they won WAE contests, EU field days and even CQWWDX contests. A 
unfortunately, this time is over now. Because Martin and Orsi have decided to leave their farm in Namibia and return to Germany. This means that the future of this station is also sealed and Victor 55 Victor will soon be history. <laughs>